I was interested in a lot of different things. And I think what impacted my career up to springboard was the recession that happened in 2008, 2009. I was just graduating college, uh, my undergrad at that point. I decided to stick where I was, which was in retail. And at that point, I moved up the ladder there pretty quickly. And after, I guess, things rebounded from an economic standpoint, I just stayed where I was. I really didn't know I was interested in, in data analytics as like that industry until around a year or two prior to actually joining Springboard. Um, I think what first sparked my interest was actually my undergrad in doing, I had like a class project. It was in kinesiology and it was trying to build like a gold standard test and comparing them. So it required a lot of like data and analysis. And I, I remember thinking back, like I love that project so much and I didn't really understand why until literally a few years before Springboard. Um, but throughout my career progression, I was always looked to for spreadsheets or some type of data, I don't want to say analytics because it was very basic, but they looked to me for that type of work and it was, it's kind of what drove me. And so that kind of opened the doors to me later on to say, hey, you know, what can I do with this type of stuff? And as my kind of, my role kind of led me more towards that area where I started seeing more results being more thoughtful and purposeful in the things I did driven by data, um, I thought, well, where can I take this? because I'm super interested in it and it's it's helping me in my career. And that's where I kind of started uncovering data analytics and data science um, and kind of what, what that whole world or industry is and what it entails. A small progression I did, uh, took some classes at UC Berkeley in like data science, trying to discover what is, you know, what is this world of data science and, and what does it entail and what do I need to know and what avenues could take me down. So I kind of mentioned before that I was really looking to find ways to um, dig into data analytics and data science and um, kind of add that to my wheelhouse. And like why Springboard specifically, like I was looking at different avenues of whether it's a master's degree or self-study and boot camps and I know there was maybe one or other two other things in there but I think what drew me to Springboard was you know chatting with some of the folks at Springboard prior to joining and chatting with them about what were their requirements and more details about the curriculum and then I know the the money back guarantee was definitely interesting and and I, I think more so like helping to find like a career and a job and getting placed somewhere, I think was a great motivator for me to eventually join. So I guess, yeah, having my questions answered and, and I think afterwards, like knowing that I would have some assistance in finding a, a career somewhere. I don't wanna say I was hesitant. Like I was, I was, I did want to jump in. I think, um, I think a feeling I have when starting the curriculum was, <laughs> I don't want to say awe, but I think I was surprised and excited about the depth of, of like a lot of the stuff I would be learning. You know, having limited experience in Python and probability and statistics, like looking through the curriculum, I felt empowered, but also knew it was gonna be a lot of work. Um, excited to know that once I got through this, like I would have all these things under my belt. And then I guess from the mentorship perspective, it was great having a mentor, just being there to answer questions and kind of level set with me, I think helped me paint that picture of what it is to be a data scientist, what is absolutely needed and what's not needed, right? So you can, you can read all these things online about data scientists um, and the industry and get this huge feeling of like, this is this huge task, right, to, to accomplish, to know all of these different areas. Um, but then it was really great for him to kind of really paint the picture of, you know, you, you don't need to know that. <laughs> or if you don't if you don't want to get into that, you don't need to know it. Um, and so it, it felt really good to, to have a more clear picture of what that might look like. That was a really fun project. It was kind of like a ragtag group of actually springboard folks 
it was brought on by a nonprofit and they wanted to know what were some contributing factors to pollution in the Chesapeake Bay. I think it was like a two month long project. And so with any area in, in the Chesapeake Bay, we were then able to predict what would the pollution be to a pretty good degree. And then based off of those areas, we were able then to look at, you know, what were some contributing factors. We wanted, we were super surprised and excited. It was super fun and kind of reaffirming that, you know, we had the, the data and the, the skills and experience to put something like this together, not knowing the subject matter as closely as you, know, you would hope. And I think that really aligns with the, the way data science is today. Oh, that's a really <laughs> good question and a really big question. I think I learned that I liked working with nonprofits um, because for, well, for two reasons. One um, is I, you know, I've, and I've always had this passion of, of helping um, other people. And I feel like nonprofits, I mean, that's primarily what they do. One that just aligns with my personal values. And then the second part, you know, learning data science and the industry, I've come to learn that a lot of companies are building some really interesting and in my mind, crazy things that, that we can do today because of this technology. And then you look at things like nonprofits or, you know, other places where this could help kind of, I don't want to say humanity, but I guess communities as a whole. And it really, you don't see that same innovation. Um, so there's this huge gap between, you know, building these data products um, to further business and then building data products to bring communities along. Kind of aligned also with my developing my data skills. Like I could use this in an area and help myself and learn and help other people. Um, and I think it was one of what one of the springboard mentors kind of really resonated with me was, you know, as you build a project, like think about who this project impacts and what and, and what's going to be the return on it? Like if you're going to build a project and at the end in an interview say, well, I built this great project um, because I wanted to learn, you know, fill in the blank, um, you know, great. That's really not going to do too much. But if you say, hey, I built this, built this or did this project to learn these skills and this is who it benefited and this is um, kind of the impact it had on an area that wasn't being utilized, um, it could be a lot more impactful to, you um, the interviewer or the company that you're interviewing with and actually that kind of um i know it's meant i don't want to say it, it got me my job but it was mentioned in um in my interview process and after i was hired so that was pretty it was pretty great to hear leverage um your past experiences and while they may not seem like they directly align with what you want to do. Um, I think there there are things um, there are things that can be pulled out um, to help align with um, where you want to go. And so thinking of like data science specifically, like there's so many different industries that data science sits in. Like you may have domain knowledge or no folks um, that could utilize your experience from wherever you were prior. Um, into these, into that new data world that you want to get into. And I think that's um, very useful. And I think um, it can be challenging to find those. So I would say leverage the career coach, I think would probably be my top answer. Like leveraging the career coach and finding what those could be. Cause sometimes, you know, you have blinders on to even to your own past experience. And so having somebody else walk through what could be transferable and what could be useful. I don't think I would have found the <laughs> for all without the help of a career coach. Um, she was amazing. Um, and I guess the that would be yeah, the last piece is, is really leverage the career coach and not just finding what's transferable, but helping you understand the process of interviewing, networking, and even just being that person to chat to when things aren't going great. They're a really great source of inspiration. I don't think going into it with the mindset of it'll be easy is the correct approach. Like there's definitely going to be work to put in, um, in that scenario. And then even if you have loads of experience, I think there's still going to be lots of work to put in to finding the right role for you. But I will say once you do find it, um, 
it's amazing and fun and and it'll be a great role. So I could say navigate it, have fun while you're in the program, just know it's gonna be a lot of work, even after finishing the program.